So the second of our matches now, and we turn to women's doubles and the world number ones, the number one seeds, Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin of Taipei up against a new Chinese pairing of Cheng Shu and Ma Jin. In the women's doubles, let's hear it for the number one seeds, Chen Wen Hsing and Chen Yu Chin from Chinese Taipei. So the world number ones, number one seeds, quarter finalists at these All England Championships for the last five years, but never beyond. And their the opponents stage. from China, Chen Shu and Ma Xin. Chen Shu, who knows what it's like to play a final here at the All England beaten finalist for the last two years in the women's doubles, but that, of course, was when she was playing with Zhao Yunlei. Her partner now, Ma Jin. and changing with pairings in World Babington. But I think we'll see partnerships staying together from now on because, of course, it's the start of the Olympic qualifying period coming up very shortly. And the Olympic qualifying, of course, is done directly from the world ranking. So it's absolutely vital that pairings stick together. Play really at least 10 tournaments because anything shy of 10 tournaments we don't really get a realistic world ranking so this will be a very very tough encounter for the number one seeds Chen Yu Chin, the tour of the two players. Chen Wen Sing, just turned 29, turned 29 on the 24th of February. And they are the world number ones. Since the 1st of October last year, they've held that status. Their win loss record for this year translates into two semi finals, both at the Super Series finals in their home city of Taipei and the Korean Super Series quarter-finalists in the Malaysian Super Series event. Well, they had a very tough opening game against the English national champions, Jenny Warwick and Gavin White. They dropped the opening game and came back 21-16 in the deciding game in 43 minutes. That was a tough match for them. But perhaps sometimes a tough match can really get you sharpened up and into form. So Cheng Shu, the taller of the two, on the right as we look at them. Ma Jin on the left. Not seeded, of course, because they had to qualify, battle their way through the qualifying event. And when you consider Cheng Shu has been in the final for the last two years, in fact, she's only made two appearances at the All England prior to this year. Both times reached the final and this year in the qualifying because she and Margin do not have a high enough world ranking. So their first round encounter. Pretty comfortable. Please. <laughs> so they've played against each other once previously. 
that was in the quarterfinal of the Korean Open. And as you can see, a tough old match. In fact, the world number ones had to save a match point in that deciding game before coming through 23-21 in an hour and three minutes in Korea in Seoul. So, Mike Wright, your uncle. And the service judge, both from England. <laughs> well, it might be a very slight delay, but I'm not sure our umpire has got his microphone working. So, new batteries, I suspect, needed that. But, Ian, this should be, if it's anything like the match they played against each other in Seoul, and whilst we weren't calling that encounter, we did see it. It really was a marathon match. It was a stunning match. If we get anything half as good as that today, it's going to be great. Um, we've got a real contrast in styles between the two pairs. And I have to say, in the first two Super Series of this year, some of the best matches have been in the ladies' doubles. There's, there's a real change in tactics. It's a lot more aggressive game than it Ladies has been historically, and it's a very, very right, interesting tactical battle now. Chen Wen-Sin and Chin Yu-Chun, Chinese Taipei. On my left, Cheng Shu, and Marjun, China. <laughs> Marjun to serve to Cheng Wen Sing, La Ball, play. So for the ch new Chinese combination, Cheng Shu and Marjun. Third tournament together as a partnership. One love. Chinese players very much use the hand signals to their partner, letting them know where they're going to serve to. And, of course, Ma Jin is the reigning world no. champion in the mixed doubles. Won the title in Paris last year playing with Jing Bo. So I suspect, Ian, that we might see her trying to dominate the front of the court and go forward as often as possible, using her taller partner to thunder down the smashes from the back of the court. Yes, I think we'll see the world number ones um, really trying to keep the shuttle away from Margin in that forecourt because she's one of the best in the world at the moment in that one, position. Two. And she reads the game extremely well from the front court. So a feature of this match will be how tactically the world number one pair will try and keep her off that position, keep her out of the play there. Ah! Oh my goodness. Well, lost her balance. Over. She went for the kill. Three, one. Chien Yu Chin. Who incidentally was a bronze medalist at the World Championships in the mixed doubles playing with Li Sheng Mu. Service over. Two, three. <laughs> It's very quick for the margin there. Good flick here. It's quick to get behind it, as I say. This new Chinese pair, they're very, very aggressive. No drop, no clear there. Going straight to the attack. Interception set up really by the channel Three, attack. The four. 
Smash down the centre of the court. Narrows the angle of reply and therefore the opportunity for Jian Yu Chin to intercept at the net. Margin. No, really interesting at the beginning of the point though, Margin was pushed to the rear court and she got back into that net position so quickly the rotation was very, very quick. Well, it was a good return of serve. Five towards the mid-court area, getting it past the net player, but making margin stretch forward. Yeah, Angela, as, as we know, both these Chinese Taipei Six, girls, not the five. most confident of servers, and it's clear that the Chinese pair have come out to be very, very aggressive against the, uh, against the flick serves, which they know will be coming in this match. They've started off in a very aggressive frame of mind. Oh, great net shot. <laughs> yeah. Once they get into the rally, Good Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin Six. really are very oh. impressive. But as you rightly point out, so often they don't get into the rally, and I find it absolutely extraordinary that here we've had. We've got a world number one ranked pair who have such obvious frailties and weaknesses in their game. Both of them, as you say, lack of confidence on the serve. Seven, six. Yes, particularly uh, Cheng Wen Sing, very, very uh, nervous server. A lot of flick serves, and as I say, the Chinese pair really seem to be prepared for that and being very, very aggressive on the return of serve, trying to take the initiative in this match early on. Uh, error there from Chen Yu Chin. Good example tactically, number one pair just trying Eight, to keep seven. Margin out of the play when she's in that front court position, playing through to Cheng Xu, trying to just stress her a little bit, keep her out of the game, keep her off her strong points. from the onset of the rally the Chinese combination able Ten, to seven. move forward dominate the net good attacking play good rotational play there as well yeah and see how high they're both finishing the court they're both being aggressive and moving forward in the court as you say Jill With a four point advantage, the qualifiers Cheng Shu and Ma Jin. Quite 
Quite simply, there's far too much defending going on from the world number ones. Mm. Mm. The Chinese squad in a very happy position of having four world car class pairs now. And it's difficult to know Ian, how they're going to get themselves more on the attack when they can't put in the low serve because obviously from the onset of the rally if they're flicking the serve they're giving away the attacking play. Yes, their only chance if they're not going to uh, be able to get the quality short serves in is to take some chances on that first defensive defensive shot to try and counter-attack immediately. Because the Chinese are being very, very aggressive on the return of the flick serve at the moment. Uh, but that was good anticipation from Chen Wen Sing. Chi Tung is a fine mixed doubles player. Won a bronze medal at the Asian Games in Guangzhou. Chen Hongling. Yeah, we saw there, Jill. It was the flick serve, but this time she stayed forward in the court a little bit and was more aggressive on the first shot. Chinese have looked to smash the return, and she stayed up and tried to counter attack straight away, and that got them the attacking opportunity, which they're going to need to win this match. No yeah, good judgment. Ten, eleven. Narrowed the gap to just one point now. Service over. Twelve, ten. Cross the body smash, doing the di the damage. Judgment from margin. 17, 10. Got a right ankle heavily strapped as margin. Oh, that's great anticipation from margin. You can see when they get the attacking 13, opportunities, they're very aggressive. Yeah. Super play. Ah! Well, it really so, uh, is emphasising the point of women's doubles. 11. The rallies really won from the front of the court. Yeah, and we see a very flat, fast exchange of shots there, which really is more reminiscent of the of the men's doubles game. Much more aggressive play this year in the ladies' doubles. Good control defensively there 16, from Margin. 11. From Qingdao in Shandong province in China. Yeah. And of course, that's going to be where the Sudaman Cup is played at the end of May this year. 
17-11. Lovely change of change of direction and defence here. Chen Shu anticipating the cross court attack there and using cross defence to good effect. Service over 12-17. put that away with venom yeah and it's notable noticeable there that she took the chance took a bit of a gamble coming in there when the shuttle was in the air above the net on the opposite side of the net but i feel that's what they've got to do in this game they've got to got to take some chances get in and try and create some attacking opportunities ah! well she's certainly prepared to take the chances coming so forward 18, yeah, started with a flick serve from her. Rally of the match so far. 19-13. Yeah, lots of variety here, and twice we saw the rotational play from the Chinese pair there. Oh, what a good call by the line judge. Attack there, just taking the pace off a little bit, switching the attack. Yeah. Reading that Margin was anticipating the attack to the backhand wing and just clipping the shuttle down the opposite side there, forcing the mistake. Game points in the game. Oh, it's a powerful good smash from the tall Cheng Shu to close out this opening game. Twenty-one fourteen. Twenty-one fourteen. Gets behind it well, rotates the shoulders, thunders it down across court from the outright winner. 21-14, we have a game in favour of Cheng Shu and Ma Jin. I think he will be pretty happy with their form so far. Yeah, and we see overhead winners is probably the key one there tactically. The Chinese pair with the better service technique, able to serve well short, creating more opportunities to play the overhead winners. And serving stats there, very interesting.
Well, as far as the number one seeds are concerned, the world's Court number two, one is Chen Wenxing and Court Chen Wenxing. Ian, I'm just wondering from a coach's perspective, obviously this serving problem, lack of confidence on the serve, is an ongoing problem as a coach and, of course, your former head coach of the England team, Great Britain coach at the Second Olympic game. Games. Is there anything that you say in the interval Play. about to restore confidence you can't really it's it's not something you can just switch on and off do you focus on other aspects of the game that they should be concentrating on yes you'll try and give them one or two positive points to concentrate on and i think you'd have to focus around uh, tactical possibilities to actually get the create the op opportunities to, to attack and uh, that's quite difficult when you're not serving serving well but I'm sure they'll be trying to come up with ways to close the space, uh, try and anticipate what the Chinese players are doing. But it's all about getting the attack for them because they just didn't get enough attack in that first game. So the server, one, all. I have to say, Jill, they're the number one pair in the world and they've had this service problem for a long time and they find ways. And sometimes it's quite... <laughs> quite unorthodox the tactics that they come up with but they do find ways to turn these games around hey! so, I can't help but compare it to another sport and Elena Dementieva so, 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 so. the tennis player she went through One. a crisis in confidence on her serve for a while but after that she came back and she won the gold medal in Beijing, the Beijing Olympics. So there's no reason to say or or suggest that they can't find that confidence again on surf. But as you say, what is so extraordinary is that they come through tournaments and they come through matches despite the fact that they have such an obvious weakness. Yes, they've, in, in many ways they've developed a game around that weakness to, fi to find ways around it. And what's quite notable in the first game, even when they do use the short serve, they're actually not very well set up behind it because they're probably anticipating that the partner's going to use the high serve. So their organisation, even behind a decent short Three, serve, is, uh, is quite unorthodox. Often see the channel attack, the smash down the centre of the court or in between the two players in the opposition. And that really does narrow the angle of reply, which you hope is going to get your net player involved a little more. Yeah. Yep, there's a fine example of smash down the centre. Didn't Five, need to get the net player two. involved because that the outright winner. And we see when they do get a decent short serve in there, they win the attack, they win the point. And I'm sure the coach will have been talking about that, that you know, it is about the attack. They've got to find ways to get the shuttle in the air. Because when, when, they, when they are on the attack, they're a very, very explosive pair. A run of five straight points. What you can say as a coach as well is that Sometimes you've got to break the play. When you're using a lot of flick serve, sometimes even a poor short serve is effective. So you've got to take that chance and serve short. And there's a good example. It's not the best serve, but it gets them in the rally. Three, six. That was plum on the line. Switch of play here. Anticipated straight, pushing hard to the rear court. The Chinese player able to turn, turn the shuttle across the court and find the space. Good awareness. 
Chinese player just having a few problems at the start of this second game, getting the pace. Just a little, the hall is flying just a little quicker towards towards our position here. Chinese just guilty of forcing one or two shuttles out of the rear court at the moment. Disappointed with that. Completely mistimed Five, the shot. Eight. Yeah, got herself in a poor position there. When you're moving forward in the court, you want the racket right out in front of you. And there, it just dropped by her side and she got herself a little bit out of position. That's a good example there. Nine, five. moving forward in the court, but leading the movement with the racket. The racket was out in front of her, and then she's able to take the shuttle very early in the front court. Oh, good defence. Oh, what an excellent rally. And a typical rally from this pair in all sorts of trouble and just coming up with something, finding a way out of it. And then from low down there, changing the direction of play right across the court into that back box. Great play. And, uh, that's a real problem with that short serve. And that's, that's half a metre over there. Uh, trying to play that smash, hence the error from Cheng Shu. And the number one seeds looking much better here in this second game. Advantage. The Chinese player just getting caught with the difference of ends there, Jill, just guilty of forcing the shuttle, playing flat from the quicker end and making one or two errors. The Chinese Taipei pair able to use the rear court a little bit and use one or two drives from this end, shuttle holding up a little bit into the, into the breeze. Eleven-seven play. So the four-point advantage with the number one seeds. Twelve seven. Well, that was a better serve. Yes, the margin so intent on being aggressive against what she feels is a weakness of her opponents that when it was a good serve, she she made the mistake. Yeah, desperate to keep the attack for a partner there. Trying the block from very, very late there. Just losing the control. No serve is short of the mark. It's over 13-8. Yeah, it just got deflected 
off the top of the tape. That just slowed it up slightly. Oh, played the good nine, nice serve. 13. And then making an error on the next one. I think she surprised herself there, Jill, getting that short serve in. She wasn't ready. players on court at one stage, ranked number one in the world rankings in the women's doubles. But Cheng Shu became world number one in the Chang Lake in November 2009. Ma Jin became world number one with Wang Xiao Li in December 2009. Two former world number ones forced to play in the qualifying of the All England Championships. They won't be in the qualifying for very long. They're going to be a top pair. They're going to be one of the pairs that will be really looking to challenge for the 15, Olympic medals in London 2012. Looks as though China have settled on, on their combinations now for the qualifying period. And I think we see this pair move up the rankings very rapidly indeed. Way long at the back line. 16, 10. <laughs> so it's over. 11, 16. Quite sure what else we can say about the low serve and the lack of confidence. Oh, it's a good rally. It is, and it's a great example well, of what we were talking 16. about earlier, Jill. It's Ladies' doubles at the moment is becoming more reminiscent of the a men's doubles type game. Very fast, flat exchanges. Both pairs looking for the attack, and when they get it, being very, very aggressive and hitting with good power. Ready to intercept, eager to hunt the shuttle. 12. It's impressive from both teams. Both teams really trying to dominate the front court, and it's a very, very interesting battle at the moment as to who can get control of that area and create the attack attacking opportunities. Oh dear, I must have changed her mind. I never thought that the shuttle was going to drop long at the back line. She didn't seem to be taking it awfully late. Yeah, real hesitation. Looked down towards the line after she'd made the error. Just trying to get her spatial awareness. the net, not letting her move forward. And, uh, she was guilty of just making an unforced error. Going wide. So it's over. 14, 18. She gets the net and she's intercepting really relentless 19, pressure 19. from Chen Wen Sing. Oh. 
a yeah, good placement of the smash. 20, game point, smash 14. Yu Chin. Six game points to the number one seeds. the weakness in the defensive play of Chen Shu switching sides as far as their attack is concerned. Down the forehand, then down the backhand side. Getting her out of position. Well, the Taipei coach will be much, much happy with his players. In the second game, and look to be saying you've got to keep mixing up the pace, use the mid-court area. You can see that the number one pair there concentrated more on the low service, used a lot more low serves in the second game, and therefore created some attacking opportunities. Much more winners in the first game. There was a clear shift there of tactics in the second game. Seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Well, last, like the last time that these two pairs met each other, match going the full distance. Final game, love all, play. Number one seeds, Chin Wen Sing and Chin Yu Chin. <laughs> Trying to make it through to their sixth consecutive quarter final at the All England Championships. Chen and Chen are getting the attack now. They are finding ways through the Chinese defence. And the big shift between the first game and the second game was the fact they were able to create those oppor opportunities to attack. So I would guess both coaches will have been talking in the break about how, can, how to get control of the front court, to use a little bit more block. We saw both coaches indicating that they want some pace off the shuttle in the front court to force their opponents into the defensive list to take the attack. It's going to be who can get control of that front court area in this third game, I think. They'll be probably in the best position to take the win. It's interesting the speed One of that last four. smash from Chin Yu Chin. 231 kilometers an hour. That's just over 143 miles per hour. And one kilometer an hour faster than the fastest ever women's tennis serve from Venus Williams. Just shows how fast these the sport of badminton is and these smashes. Two, one. Yes, with the with the change in scoring system to the rally point system, what happened with the physical preparation, it went more from an aerobic and endurance type preparation to a more, more weight training, more strength and explosive, explosive strength. And that's increased the power of the game Three, in the girls game. One. And that's caused the, the shift in tactics to more aggressive play. So, so, uh, two, 
three. Playing together now for 10 years, the number one seeds. And very experienced as a combination. Some whilst very experienced in the uh, combination, four, being two. secret in world terms, that perhaps not the best of friends off court personality clashes. In the fact, a year or so ago, they did try splitting up as a partnership, one or two tournaments with other partners, and neither pair really achieved the sort of status, and they're back together again. It's sometimes refreshing actually to have a new partner that you've played with for many, many years. I remember. The, uh, the Danes in the men's doubles, the holders of this All England title, Lars Porsche and Ronald Rasmussen, who soon after they first formed their partnership won the world title. And then they struggled to keep that sort of consistency. They split up for, from each other for about six months, got back together again, and last year won the All England title. So it's sometimes not a bad thing just to refresh the partnership. Yes, and I think from the coach's angle, when you've got two very, very good players and there are issues between them and the communication isn't that good, by splitting them up also you can actually demonstrate to them, well actually this is your best this is yep. your best option, you are the best two players, this is what it will be like, you're going to play with a weaker partner, come on let's find a way to sort this out. And I think they've, they've done that very well, they've found a way to work together on court, off court they tend to go their own ways, but they take a very, very professional approach as the results show. And they're a very, very good combination. Right idea. Yeah. 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 What the Chinese Four, coach was five. urging her to do to use the mid court angled shots, but just overdoing it, pushing it wide. Very good rally. Right, and a rally in the second game that was 38 shots. I wouldn't be surprised if that was longer. Well, what I do think, Jill, I think it's a massive improvement in the ladies game. Both pairs trying to take the attack and there's no longer this patient, almost chess-like approach of just playing clears and drops and working your opponents. There's real aggression and real pace in the game now. And it's becoming a really, really spectacular event to watch. Again, it's the attacking pair that win, and that's, that's good badminton, really good doubles. Five, six. Play, please. the wrong choice of shot from Chen Yu Chin from the Nets. Yeah, I think they were very intent on trying to keep the play on Chen Xu and keep margin off that net position, but in the end it was a poor choice of shot. Yeah, she's a tall lady, 178, that's 5 foot 10. Unable to deal with that attempted flick over her head. Eight, five. 
right idea. Nine, oh, execution. Five. a trend in badminton Seven now number. in these little Six. hand signals no, to no. as to where you're going to serve. You know, I don't think you're convinced by it, are we? Uh, I'm, no, I'm not. I mean, I walking up to the line normally, I like my players, just a quick word, just so they can both agree on it. The partner doesn't get an option in it with this system. I like my, I like my no. players to be able to discuss the option and be clear on who's covering what and when and in this system, it's the front play that dictates the play, and the, the partner doesn't doesn't contribute to the tactical situation at the start of the rally. Eight, nine. If we watch carefully as well. Margin's actually taking it further than some of the other. Chinese players because now Margin, she not only, most of the time, she not only indicates the direction of the, and the type of the service, but she also indicates where she's going to go after the service. So there's, there's two signals. Nine four. So four straight points to get back level in this deciding game. Yes, I just wonder with that ankle strapping whether she's missed a little bit of training recently. Certainly, it's, it's a substantial strapping. Thank you. Yes, it certainly is, but that's been an ongoing problem for quite a while now. I remember that a couple of months ago. An ankle injury, in fact, it forced her to withdraw, I seem to remember, from the latter stages of the tournament. I think the difference is, Jill, we've seen her use an ankle support before, but that's a, that's a, that's a strapping. I mean, that's, that's a different situation for me. That indicates that there's probably more of a problem than uh, possibly in the past. No serve is short from Cheng Shu. And it means that the world's number ones have the narrowest of possible margins. As they change ends in this deciding game, just one point in it. Here's the first pair to 11 points. Uh, game intervals, and of course, in the deciding game, the players change ends. I'm the the score from the previous match and uh, 25-23 in the third, I think, in the Korean, from memory. 23-21. That was close. Yeah, but they uh, had a match point, did uh, Chen Shu and Ma Jin failed to convert. So I'm sure, I'm sure the Chinese coach there will have been talking about the change of ends there. Start of the second then, when the Chinese turned to the center, were guilty of making some mistakes. Example of you were saying, 12, you were saying before the break, Jill. Margin there, you wouldn't expect Margin to make a mistake in that area of the court. It's normally so strong from that mid court area. Yes, and that, of course, is why she picked up two medals at the last World Championships gold in the mixed doubles, silver in the women's doubles. And having won that. 
third silver medal in the women's doubles promptly partnership dissolved Over 11 12. Signs of frustration there. This time, can team keep the flick serve in the court? Yeah, great intersection, great kill. Really total 13, commitment from Chen Yu Chin. Yeah, and what I like here is how close a partner is in behind her. Look how high they both are on the court. Great aggressive play. Yeah, the Chinese trying to use the block there because they know this ends a little bit quicker, but Chinese Ta Taipei pair anticipating that and closing that space down very quickly in the front court. Service over, 12-14. We do see this quite often in doubles, very short rallies, because the return of serve, players really wanting to pounce on it. Oh, that's good judgment to leave that. Shows confidence as well. 15, 12. Yes, and I think they're just playing the hall a little better than their opponents at the moment. Just reading, reading the flight of the shuttle possibly a little better. Serve yet again. And in this match, Jill, I'd have to say this, some of the short rally stats that we'll probably see at the end of the match are explained by the quality of some of the service as well. Lack of quality, I assume you mean. Lack of quality, fair comment. 14, 15. The Chinese qualifiers narrowed the gap to just one point. They're trying to use the block to get in to create the attacking 16, opportunities. 14. Yeah. You see the block defense and the block to try and get the top attack back. And Margin looking to play short, not wanting to lift the shuttle. Oh, that's a very good smash from Chien Yu Chin. Going down the line, 14. just the variation so much as we've already been saying of the attacking play goes down the center of the court there. Straight down the line, inch perfect. Yeah. Ah! 15-17. Uh, in this third game they've made, they're actually winning the game, but they've made it. A number of direct faults on service and that could come back to haunt them in this match. Once again, as soon as they got themselves on the attack, the smash down the centre from the big hitting Chien Yu Chin. And then finished off so well from Chen Wen Sing. Always in trouble after the defensive flick serve to start that rally. Could never quite get 16, back in, into 18. the attacking position. In the end, forced into the error. Seventeen, 
17, 18. Long of the back line. And qualifiers from China now back level. Really good serving under pressure from Margin here. Showing why she's one of the world's best mixed players. It's going wide. Unbelievable defense from Chen Shu. 19, 18. And you just get their noses in front at the crucial stage of this deciding game. chance it was a great serve again from margin forcing the return of service up into the air above the net Shinsu just snatch, snatching at the shuttle a little bit there losing the timing and forcing the shuttle into the net Lovely play, courageous play from Chin Wen Sing, and after 54 minutes of play, now the world number ones have earned themselves a match point. What's the service going to be? Oh, good courage. Oh, it's long of the back line. Both the Taipei players were looking to go forward. Neither of them were covering the lift to the back. But fortunately for them, it dropped long. It dropped long by an absolute whisker. What a great call by the line judge. Three tough games coming from a game down. The world number ones have indeed progressed through to their sixth consecutive quarterfinal here at New England Championships. There's confirmation of the score. 14-21, 21-14, 21-90 in the deciding game. Well, didn't quite reach the hour mark, but it was still an excellent match. Well, stats, stats tell the story there. A very, very close game there. Nothing really to choose between the two pairs, as the score suggests. But it was interesting that the Chinese Taipei pair in that third game did persist with more short serves. And certainly at the end there, very bravely went for the short serves at the end, and it paid dividends for them. Yes, well, there through to the quarterfinals. Even Danes or Indian combination await them in the quarterfinal stage. But a remarkable, consistent record their six consecutive quarterfinals. <laughs> 